Welcome, Optimus. Thank you for joining me. What devious schemes are you up to this time, Megatron? Nothing! I'm simply inviting my dear friend over for a chat. Is that so wrong? I just don't trust you. So, seventh movie. That's exciting. The Transformers story ought to be extremely developed by now, right? What new story points can we expect to see this time? Uh, we have a cool sports car Autobot that a human is going to meet for the very first time, and that we're going to fight a big planet-destroying foe and save the Earth. Okay, so nothing new, just a carbon copy of every movie you've ever done in the past. Cool! What? So, how have you been? Are you good? What's been going on in your life? I have a serious question. What is it? When are we going to get a proper movie about Megatron? I thought we did, with the ice and the glasses thing. No, I mean the real Megatron. This Megatron. Me. I am the whole reason the Autobots even have a story, right? You have been the cause for a lot of our problems, yeah. So it seems only fair that I get to have a proper story arc. Uh-huh. I have an idea. All right, I think you'll like this. Okay. What if, picture this, we're in the 80s, Right? Mm -hmm. And Bumblebee's already had his thing with what's-her-face? Charlie. Yes, whatever. All of that already happened. And then... Boom, boom, boom! Megatron crashes on Earth, but get this! I crawl out of the wrecked ship, and then as I go to say, I am Megatron! I can't. But why? Because, get this, I've lost my voice. You know, because I, I yell a lot. Right. And so... Being all by myself, I have to get back to my Decepticons. Because I want to destroy and rule everything, you see. Right. But I'm going to need help. That's when this bully teenager finds me. We could call him Spike, you know. That sounds like a good bully name, right? Spike? <sighs> you don't already have someone named Spike in these storylines, do you? Anyway, Spike and I, we bond over a brief time. I teach him how to be a better bully. <clears throat> We vanquish a few of his enemies together, and he teaches me how to hack into a communications tower, because he's also into hacking. Right. Then, when we are stealing some non-renewable energy from the Earth, <sighs> that's when the Autobots will show up. Well, it's about time. Yes. So the Autobots will try to defeat me, and we'll have some awesome battles, but of course, I'll be too powerful, right? And so I'll get away. Boo. But then, this is the best part, just before I make my escape, after, you know, I successfully discover where the Decepticon lair is, I have to say goodbye to my new bully friend, Spike. Or maybe he has to say goodbye to me, you know, because he's grown into his prime. You get it? Or maybe he's just getting arrested. I don't know. The point is, he now has full confidence in all of his bully hackerness after our unforgettable journey together. The end? Question mark? So... What do you think? That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, really? Because I think it sounds exactly like every movie you guys do, except this time it's about me. Ours are way different, though. How? You blow things up, humans freak out, and buildings crumble. What do you have that makes my idea so different this time? This time, we have the Maximals. Oh, whoopee! Hooray for you! I hope you don't do them dirty like you did. The Dinobots! Uh, how dare you? Where is my movie? Megatron, Soundwave, Starscream! That is three billion dollars right there! You know I'm right!